Hey guys, Liz here, aka Isabel Sharon. Today I'm I'm at a place called Nellyport, and it's kind of a destination video, but it's actually a bite-sized tutorial video come what the heck. Um, I've had a few people ask me how I'm able to shoot in lag um, because obviously you go to some places that there is a lot of lag for whatever reason. Um, sometimes it's t loading textures or your computer is running really slow. So for me today I'm having a little bit of lag here so I thought this was the perfect place to do it. So when I come to places like this and I'm so desperate to film them I can't wait for the lag to go. I make sure that everything's resing and then what I do is a sort of a technique where I don't actually smooth cam and I don't use my space mouse. So what I'll do is and I'm going to show you in a moment is I actually look around and make sure that there are areas where there's movement. So for example, here you're gonna find leaves, or the clouds moving past, the water trickling, that kind of thing. And I will concentrate my angle at that. So I'm gonna show you um, how I do it. And then the trick of it is, once you've done that, is to put it together with, um, what do you call? Uh, transitions in between so it looks like it's a bit more uh, flowy so I'm going to move my cam now and I'm going to just show you what it is I do so I am going to um, just move away to the water and I'm just going to pick a spot so let's have, so there so I just I just leave my camera there then I move a little bit again so you can see this slight movement in the water and this clouds are moving and I just concentrate so I do small bits but leaves are moving here I'm not moving my camera and I just do sort of regular shots around I move move my camera around concentrate on a spot get myself positioned for example this windmill just position on it and then I move it away and then I go to the other side so basically I'm just staying still I'm not actually smooth camming or anything Again, I'm here by the animals, I wait for them to res, and then, then I just film in one spot. The water, I film one spot, and then what I'll do is, then I'll move again to another spot, okay? So it's just picking up pieces of different areas. Um, and so basically, we're gonna shortly be coming to the end of it. So again, picking up the bits, the water movement here, and then I'm going to move to another part and just concentrate over there and then I'll go one more final bit which will be this bit here and I might actually throw in the bus bit here so let's move that there that's well, not a bus it's tram <laughs> well you know what I mean okay so now all of that put together there's transitions so uh, I'm just using a basic blend transition here but once you run it through you will see that actually it looks so much better so much it it comes together with the transition I'm just using a basic blendy one just to give you an idea and and that's how I do it I will just concentrate on small areas and then just film it and like the windmill here I will go to a bit just around the other side so it gives that sort of illusion that you've actually gone around that kind of thing but anyhow I hope that helps um, it's I'm not really great at teaching people but you know <laughs> if you want especially if you want to film in high you know sort of high graphics that is the best way to do it because when you turn your graphics up really high what you're going to find is the lag really sets in <laughs> So, and I like to make sure I capture the the shadows, you know, the light hitting the water, that kind of thing. So it's, yeah, it's as simple as that. Anyhow, I hope that helps and um, I will see you soon. Okay, bye-bye.